Hi dreamers! Welcome back to Dream Writer's Tarot. So for today's video, we're going to do a pick a card reading about your soulmate. Okay, so we're going to um, find out okay, uh, how he will be towards you and how he is as a person. Okay, so we're going to use Tarot and Oracle for this one. And today we have three piles to choose from. So we have pile one, which is this yellow yarn. Okay, and then accompanied by this uh, strong energy card. I don't know. Uh, when I was doing the things to do for pick a card, the cards are also strongly connected with their own colors and their own um, yarn. Anyway, for pile 2, we have this green yarn. Okay, followed by this strong card over here. And then we have pile 3, this blue yarn accompanied by this card. Okay, so pick out the pile that calls out to you the most. And by the way, before we start, um, we can go ahead and skip. Okay, but I just want to say that I do offer free reading. So if ever you're interested in that, uh, please let me know um, in our Facebook page. Okay, so um, that's it for the quick sponsorship. Sponsorship? <laughs> Flag? I don't know. Anyway, um, if you guys are ready, let's get started with pile number one. Okay, hi pal one, if you've chosen this yellow yarn over here, this reading is for you. So we have here for the first tarot card, we have the five of wands, okay? And then we also have the hermit card in reverse. Oops, sorry. And then we have the king of pentacles, okay, in reverse. We have the high priestess card in reverse. And then we also have okay the nine of wands in the first okay uh huh right so pal number one what I'm seeing for your person is that this is someone uh who is very um determined okay someone who's very strong willed someone who's very ambitious you know someone who really goes after what he wants this person likes to plan ahead um this person likes to uh push you as a partner this person likes to push you um to your best you know he um this person wants to bring out the best in you and uh wants to make sure that you achieve all of your goals okay so he has this a uh, very um strong um energy determination and then, uh, what I'm seeing for you guys, pal number one, is that, you know, this may be someone uh, that could compliment you well. I'm not saying that, um, you know, you're the complete opposite. But uh, what I'm feeling from your energy, pal number one, is that um, there's... I'm sorry. <laughs> is that there's this strong um, energy of you being feeling restless, okay? Uh, for you, pal number one, um, I feel like um, you're so stressed out about something. You feel burned out about something it's like um you're looking for someone to be your rock i'm uh feeling the word the rock okay uh strongly coming in for your reading pal number one so let's discard um sorry let's let's discuss rather the cards one by one okay uh for the five of ones you know um again this is someone who likes challenges okay uh he likes always having to do something he likes winning okay that's one of one of the messages that i'm getting this person likes to win a lot okay and um this version is very competitive okay um for the zodiac i'm seeing a strong fire sign coming in so it's possible that this person is um an aries okay more like a fixed or cardinal um energy here so either an aries or a um leo okay but they can also be a sagittarius okay but uh not this the dominant sign here is fire mm-hmm and then next could be um you know earth sign so they can be a capricorn taurus or a virgo but the dominant sign here is fire now um yeah so this person this person is um yeah likes to win okay that's one of the main feature of this person and then we have here the hermit card in reverse okay and um i have to <clears throat> i feel the need to read the hermit card in reverse along with the king of pentacles in reverse so um this person well, doesn't really like being alone that much, you know. Um, he has this very extroverted energy going on for him. And then, um, King of Pentacles. So, um, what this person feels right now is that uh, he hasn't fully reached 
his potential yet you know um <clears throat> he feels like he's all he should always be on the lookout to learn okay always uh, doing something always overcoming something this person doesn't like to feel stagnant okay and then um yeah this person i believe this is i mean, what i'm saying is that you know these are the types of people for some of you okay i believe around 60 to 80 percent of you this represent this person um this person is either starting her own um company okay or uh working their way up in the corporate ladder building their own business but uh, the main feature here is that this person likes to be his own boss okay um doesn't like um well he knows how to follow authority but nonetheless uh someday he has this end goal of um being his own boss so this could be a ceo type of person or a manager very leader like boss um energy here very strong yes then we have here the high priestess okay in the first so uh nonetheless this person is very secretive you know when you see this person um you know you won't notice it right away okay um but his aura sorry you won't notice it right now let me take that back um his you know he has this very secretive mysterious aura going on for him you know um this person doesn't like to share much about himself okay rather keep things within him okay kind of that's um one of the things that i'm seeing for this person is that you know he prefers to bottle up his own emotions uh doesn't really like to share much about uh, himself especially about what he's feeling what his thinking his ideas yes definitely um he would have no hard time sharing that with you and with other people but um with the high priestess coming in i'm seeing that you know this person would prefer to solve his own problems okay and then uh we have here the nine of wands so um yeah okay so this person um uh, well this person doesn't really like giving up <laughs> okay so whatever the obstacles are coming in his way maybe he would dress for a while okay but uh this person not this doesn't want to give up sometimes he feels like giving up okay um don't get me wrong though this person is still well human but uh it's not really the type who would completely give up okay uh he would and would definitely find a way to solve a problem now let's go to your oracle cards to see more about this person so we have here okay for the wild offering oracle we have ambition <laughs> yes may i offer you all my deepest lovings to love its longing sorry to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond the mind's imagining please use me for the highest good okay yes but what i'm also seeing i don't it just came in what i'm also seeing is that you know um this person is very going to be very very dedicated very very going to be committed to you okay so pretty much like um his plan you're part of his plan you're going to be part of this person's plan so you know as much as he's very um go get go getting okay on his goals um he's also going to be the same in your relationship okay and then we have here abundance yes so this again this person he really likes to you know uh, maximize his, his potential and this person as i see it likes to measure his success with abundance with wealth okay abundance divine beloved please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive i release my ego's planet open to be a vehicle for abundance so um this person likes to work hard for what he wants in game and yeah, so if I, if he finds something easy um you know he well as with everyone she would really take it for granted but this person is especially especially high on it so he likes something that you know he feels like he has won over all right and then we have here despair i need your divine intercession right now oh great spirit lift this darkness from my soul free me from this burden open me to your highest plan i may i be a peaceful vessel of your love so um i'm getting this energy this feeling that uh you're both channeling um each other okay uh, you're both manifesting each other right now um you know both of you okay both of you feels like you need someone to turn into okay and uh, for some of you i'm feeling like you're already 
feeling this person. Okay, you are already channeling this person. Yeah, so you're both calling out to each other. Um, your souls are connecting with each other right now. Okay, for some of you, this is a twin flame situation. Okay, and then um, yeah. So let's see. Um, with the oracle cards for romance, romance. Angel romance cards or the romance angels card. Why do I say romance angels? Because it is romance angels. Anyway. Okay, next we have here passion. Yes, so as much as he has a lot of passion with his life, his goals, okay, uh this person also feels the same way, okay, about your own relationship. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And then uh we have here new love. Okay. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, um, this could go either way. Okay, so this could be um a person that is about to come. So this person may have not come yet. That's one. Another thing that I'm saying is that uh, you may have met this person, but um you're not yet in that kind of relationship. Now um, I could pull one card to ask a yes or no if you already know this person. Okay. So I believe um this is for the singles. Okay. Oh okay. Oh no no, just one. Let's get one card to confirm. Have did pile one already meet this person? Okay. So we have the eight of cups. So um I'm feeling that for some of you this is an X. I don't know. Yeah, for some of you this is an X. And then, um, you know, for some of you, this may be someone that um, you keep on rejecting. So, it, it's these two things. Um, but the main energy of the Eight of Cups is that uh, for some of you, okay, if that doesn't resonate, um, take only what resonates. So, yeah, um, the main... The only what resonates. So, the main energy of the Eight of Cups here is that, you know, this person is not within your current orbit your current circle okay so whether you know this person or not they are um not in your immediate social circle okay so there so um that's it for us that's the information about your soulmate pal number one i hope you like this video and then if you do please like and subscribe to my channel i'll be posting new content like this as much as i can every week okay so thank you guys so much for listening and i'll see you soon bye Pile Pile 2, if you've chosen this, uh, well, this pile, this reading is for you. So, uh, let's start with the tarot cards first. We have the star card. Put it here. And then next, we have the hermit card. And then for the next card, we have the three of swords. And then next card, we have the hero vent. Okay, so then um, we can all see the cards. Can I move them a bit? higher excuse me star hermit three of swords hero fent nine of cups and the death card in reverse okay so pile number two who is your soulmate all right um ultimately what i'm seeing at this is a friend of yours a very close friend of yours okay now let's get into detail about this person so, uh, with the star card in reverse, I'm seeing that, you know, this is um, someone, okay? Uh, I'm seeing a lot of messages with the star card, okay? I'm seeing that this is someone um, who brightens up your day. So, when you see this person, ultimately, you know, you become happier, you glow up, okay? Um, things just seem lighter. And I'm also seeing that this person may be the popular kind, okay? Um, so, this person may be, like, um, everyone's I'm seeing everyone's crush. So a lot of people likes this person a lot. And then um there's also some YouTube coming on. So this person may um not necessarily be a vlogger or a YouTube uh personal, but someone who has a strong following in social media. Okay. Um yes, or someone is you know, just really, really um loved, well loved at what they do. Okay. Yes, so this person, uh, regardless of the situation, what I'm saying is that, you know, this person um, is really 
um, like a star, you know, they shine so bright and um, they, and for you, pile number two, they just really light up your room, light up, light up the room for you, they really light up your day, okay? And um, with the Hermit card, I'm also seeing that, you know, this person, okay, uh, this person likes to, you know, be alone with you, um, this person loves, okay? Yeah, this person would um love to confide in you, you know. Um, of course, uh, the per their personality, their um social status, if I may, is that you know um they have this huge following, and then with you by their side, um, it's like they can just be themselves. Okay, so there's a message of uh being comfortable around um themselves, the good and the part of just by being with you so um this is a very um, there's a very strong intimate um connection happening with your um energy pile number two and then uh next is the three of swords okay so um <clears throat> with your friendship you know uh, i'm seeing that this it's a type where even something happens okay um this person will be you and your person okay you'll be the first ones to tell each other i'm seeing i'm sensing i'm feeling the word emergency contact so there's there will come a time where in your each other's um emergency contact number <clears throat> okay so yeah you just really trust each other okay uh with your safety okay so um there's a strong message that you really love protect you really aim to protect each other also uh but another message that i'm seeing for the three of swords is that you know um since you guys are friends with each other um you actually at the same time uh you love the friendship that you have but ultimately um it also brings you some sort of pain knowing that um this might end as it is as a friendship okay so there's also two alternatives or two messages brought about by the three of swords and then we have here the next card sorry about my dinosaur hands <laughs> we have the hero fant okay so yes uh you do bring um comfort to each other and um also saying that you guys help each other grow okay um there's um there's a strong destined connection between the two of you okay um actually have a lot of major arcana cards okay like oh the one earlier let me show you here mid and the start yeah so um you know and the way you guys will meet is um very as some would say very coincidental but uh what i'm seeing from the hearts is that this is a destined connection so uh whether you end up with your soulmate or not okay you guys have a very strong purpose have a very strong um, reason for being in each other's lives okay so you know this is the kind of connection that even if you um, end up marrying someone else you'll always you know um you'll always have this special place in each other's life in each other's heart okay so it's a very again it's a very intimate um connection okay yes yes okay nine of cups yeah with the nine of cups card this is actually a fish card it is very cool very nice okay so um you know with the nine of cups i'm saying that you know this person is everything that you've dreamed of okay and uh, that's the first message message that come into mind this person is everything that you've um dreamed of and um it's also possible that this is what the person feels about you but with the death card in reverse i'm seeing that um there is a very very strong block okay between um you and this person so there's um for some of you for most of you actually i'm feeling that there's a reason why uh, you guys can't be together and there could be a lot of reasons uh one reason that i'm seeing is that you know this person uh may be with someone else uh, right now already so this person maybe could meet to someone else another reason is that um priorities so uh you or this person um may be focusing on other goals right now that's not um and you may not have enough time to uh focus work on a romantic relationship so uh whatever it may be there's a strong um blockage there's a strong uh, reason for you know not this relationship not pushing through 
but uh, with it, with the debt card being in the first, I'm also seeing that uh, regardless of uh, how things are, regardless of the challenges, uh, the feelings that you have with each other are real and it's still there. And for some reason, it just won't um, go away. All right. So it's, um, it's intense. It's uh, very strong for you, pal number two. Okay. Now let's get a couple of of oracle cards for you and then uh, for the first card we have ooh, we have challenges unbearable situations throw you directly into god's arms if you are open please take over divine and guide the right actions please take this burden and show me your will okay next card we have striving okay. um eventually the individual's ego to drive Ego strive to make things happen falls away, replaced with their relaxed, trusting openness to answers as they arise. Thank you, Divine, for letting me f move with the flow. And then the next card is calmness. The inner Divine is the witness of all, remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, Quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over. Yes. Okay, so... Um, I feel like there's a reason why um the challenges and then the calmness card is in between or the striving card rather is in between challenges and um calmness. So uh for some of you I feel like uh, you're thinking of whether pursuing this relationship I'm sorry <laughs> relationship or not. <laughs> That's embarrassing, sorry. Yeah. Um, you know again are we the death card in reverse? so um the feelings are there definitely the feelings are there for both of you but um of course um even if the feelings are strong intense the feelings are there are really strong blockages that um both of you um are having a difficult time overcoming okay so um yes the challenges are there but at the same time you know you're striving but um you're not sure okay whether to strive for have this relationship to work out or you're striving to you know move on and just let go of other things so um there's that energy going on between um your connection now uh, let's get the romance angels cards for further clarity about this so we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so um there's some su sort of suppression okay i try to hold back again again on your feelings and then we have for you deserve love you are lovable okay so this is actually um one of the good things for some of you if um you know if you are thinking of uh, moving forward and letting go of this connection so there's one and then um i feel like i need to pull in one more card for you pal number two so um let's ask the cards the guides uh should you still continue with this connection okay me you okay that's okay we have here the four of pentacles in not reverse not in reverse okay sorry yeah yes it's okay so the question was should you um still continue well um this one is actually a yes <laughs> okay but um there's a need for stability. Okay, I'm seeing that. There's a need for um stability for this to work out. So what this means is that there's four, right? So um it can't just be one-sided. Okay, that's the message here. So if you guys uh do want to continue this connection, uh it has to be um a two-way street. So uh you and this person must be willing to work things out, okay? If you do continue to um engage or push with this relationship forward all right so there you have it that's it for us bell number two i hope you like this video and then if you do please like and subscribe to my channel i'll be posting new content um, every week thank you guys so much and i'll see you soon bye <laughs> Hi, Pile 3. If you've chosen this pile, this reading is for you. So, let's ask the guides, who is your soulmate? Okay, hold on. So, for the tarot cards here, we have the world card. And then we have the seven of swords. 
okay the world then seven of swords we also have the nine of wands in reverse and then we have the emperor card okay i feel like i should put it here so that you guys can see okay seven of swords nine of wands emperor and we have the six of pentacles all right so um file number three who is your soulmate all right um what i'm seeing is that um this is someone who is already stable okay uh someone who um is you know as you see is already um, successful okay and um also okay yeah yeah um this is someone who's already um stable so uh, let's just card uh, each meaning of the cards now we have here the world card in for um, at first so uh what is what i'm seeing from this card is that um this person has already done okay most of what they want in their life okay and this person is ready to um settle okay this person is ready to focus on their love life their relationship so uh they're at that point in their life okay wherein um you know they have done everything that they could in terms of their goals in terms of their dreams and now uh, they feel like it's time for them to share okay um what they have with someone else with someone very special for them but uh what i'm seeing, what I'm seeing here with the seven of swords is that um for you um i feel like this is the first part of your relationship okay um you have a strong um distrust going on okay so yes this person's um yeah this person is actually good looking okay i'm seeing that from the cards this person is good looking this person is successful is nice um you could say they're almost perfect um and then with the side of swords card appearing um you have this um strong sense of distrust okay with this person so i um, mean if initially meet this person or during the first few um moments of your relationship um you have this um trust issue going on with your partner it's like you don't believe their intentions okay uh you think that they're up to something you think that um you may e some for some of you i'm seeing that you may even suspect them cheating of cheating on you okay so yes um it's like you're wondering what what this person wants with you okay so there's a strong um distrust going on between you and your relationship and then uh nine of wands but the good thing is uh regardless of um the challenges that you guys are facing um this person won't give up on you okay so um it will be difficult okay because of the things surrounding your um uh, relationship your connection but i'm um, nonetheless you know this person won't give up on you now with the emperor card uh what i'm seeing is um for some of you this person could possibly be older okay so if uh yes uh for some of you this person is um older by age and um if not by age i'm also seeing that this person may be a boss okay so um not necessarily your um boss but um someone who is in authority okay so um this may be yes or this may be a professor i don't know <laughs> uh for some of you i got i suddenly got that uh, message that this is a professor a college professor a teacher for some of you i hope you're over 18 when you're watching this i'm just kidding no i'm not kidding oh whatever anyway <laughs> sorry i'm blabbing anyway yeah uh, this person is in um authority over you okay so this person is full of wisdom okay yes and uh with the six of pentacles sorry with the six of pentacles i'm seeing that um this person will spoil you with uh well with gifts okay um this person's love language is gift giving so whoever this person is um they'll be showering you with lots of gifts and um the message is to just let them because that's how they express their love for you uh through gifts which i'm seeing that for some of you may even be the cause of why you mistrust this person because you know um it can and it can be a bit suspicious you know uh, they keep on continuously giving you something and you tend to think you start to think what is an exchange of everything okay that he's giving so there's that um energy surrounding your reading file number three 
Now, let's go to the Oracle cards and let's get further message about your connection. So, for the first card, we have um, trust. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, the message from, first message from the guides for you guys is trust. When love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Yes, okay, so um, the cards are inviting you to trust this person, trust this connection. Uh, for some of you, you may feel like this is too good to be true, but um, this, is, this is one of those things that, you know, um, finally something so good, it's so hard to believe it's happening, but it is, it, it will. Okay, so just trust that, you know, um, this is... This is like the justice um, that for some of you, this is the justice that uh, you deserve. So all the love that you have um, given to other people, uh, for some of you in the past, this may have not worked out. It may have left you very much broken, very much hurt. But I believe that um, we know all the love that you give will eventually re be returned back to you. Maybe in a different form that you've expected but definitely will be given back to you so i feel like you know with this connection this is it um this person okay is the love that is being returned to you in a very unexpected way okay very um loving i'm seeing very a lot of warmth okay feeling a lot of warmth a lot of passion and um trust respect with this um relationship and then we have here aging okay so yeah again some of you this could be older but again this could also be um this could also mean um emotional maturity this person may be um you know very emotionally mature than the others that you have met you have dated before so uh, with aging the message here is i am one with a limited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty. A vessel for the divine sakti. Okay, yes. So, um, I'm also getting the message with this card that, you know, um, despite, in spite of everything that you have gone through, believe that you do deserve love. Okay? That you are worthy to be loved. Okay, so, um, there's a lot of, um, healing energy needed for you, pal number three. And, um, note that the things that you have gone through does not make you unlovable okay um in fact what the card is saying is that you know this uh, despite everything you've gone through it has actually made you more beautiful because you have chosen to fight over it and are for some of you are still continuing to fight over it and um, it's something to you know clap yourself for okay it's something commendable something to be proud of that you're fighting okay and um it's not there's nothing to be ashamed of okay because um you know this is something that will eventually be as um a story that you tell on how you overcome these challenges and then when you look back you'll you see and you'll realize that you know um i didn't i can't believe that i made it but i did and here i am okay so, uh, despair. I need your divine intercession right now, O oh Great Spirit. Lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel of your love. Okay, yeah, so I'm feeling, yes, I am feeling um, a deep hurt going on between you, Bell number three. So, I, from some of you, I'm getting that this may be the cause of the distrust, okay, this deep um, emotional healing that is needed. So, um, this could, and to be honest, this could also be a block to, um, you know, a relationship. But with abundance, okay, abundance can mean wealth, okay, like uh, what we saw with the Emperor and the Six of Pentacles. But uh, with abundance, it also, I'm also getting the message of unconditional love, okay. Abundance. Divine beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. See? Um, I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance. Yes, so pal number three, um this is a very good news, okay. This is a very loving news uh from the universe, from God or uh, from whomever 
that you believe in. So uh, this is actually your time, um, you know, to feel the love that you finally deserve. <laughs> okay, um, again, this may be too good to be true. Maybe wondering why this is happening, but it is. And again, um, you deserve it. Okay, um, whatever it is that happened in your past, okay, um, no, do note that uh, you need to trust that this is. Uh, this is for you, <laughs> okay? Uh, this is a very, very good thing that is going to happen. It is about to happen or for someone who is happening to you, okay? So, uh, this person's intention is pure. Abundance also, again, abundance also means unconditional love. And then we have um, love yourself first, yes? Your self-respect comes, makes you more romantically attractive, Okay? So yes, okay. Love yourself also means um forgiving yourself for what you have done before. Okay. So yes, for you to um for you to fully hundred percent uh feel and receive this blessing, this soulmate connection, um you need to be able to love yourself fully first. So that um you know, once you have that love within you it will be easy for you to recognize the love that your soulmate is uh, giving you. And then lastly, okay, we have flirt. This is a lovely card to finish off the reading, pile 3. So extend your light heart and energy to others. So flirt, um, it just means uh, have fun with this connection, okay? So I uh, may be suspicious about this person because, you know, he's uh, so good looking, he's so perfect. And um, yet, um, you know, this, I'm sorry, this is not something that you're used to. But uh, what the cards are saying is that just have fun with it. I'm seeing that some of you are having fun with it already. So, uh, girl, just continue doing it, okay? And, you know, just enjoy, okay? Enjoy this very lovely, beautiful connection. Alright, so that is it for us. Uh, pile number three. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content like this every week. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!